I'm currently traveling to Antarctica for a business mastermind and as this is a very unique place, I'm having to get multiple flights across many different countries to get here. If for whatever reason you're also planning to go to Antarctica, then you can follow along with this series to learn from my experience. So far I've stopped in Dubai, Amsterdam, Zurich, Sao Paulo and now today I'm finally arriving in the last country before my Antarctica adventure begins. Despite some issues I experienced while I was visiting, which we'll get into later, this country is absolutely stunning and the people are so nice. So this is my four day trip to the prettiest city in South America, Buenos Aires, Argentina. After flying and traveling 24 hours, they're not letting me in the room because Rhonda booked it for me and now they say that she has to personally come downstairs and give approval but she's in a meeting so they were a bit rude so I suggested myself to go sit here and now waiting for getting into my room because I really want to shower I made a very 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 long flight but I had a really nice conversation with the taxi driver got to practice my Spanish a little bit because he couldn't speak English that well Bellissimo or Bellissima Bellissimo and I think in a few days it will all come back to me because I studied Spanish in high school and then also in university but it's been so long and I haven't practiced at all so I'm actually excited to be here for a few days and try to speak Spanish with some people thank god that Rhonda did pull through this room is freaking amazing look at that this is like a princess suite look at that couch and this desk I love it oh my god that is gorgeous Okay, they're forgiven for their rude attitude because it's so pretty. Wow, I love this. It's a bit low though. I'm very tall. Let's go here. Oh my god, that is very pretty. And a bathtub. This looks like royal, like a royal shower. Wow, massive shower. Toilet and an ash flusher, I guess. Day. It gives royal vibes. I really have to shower now because I'm so gross. Like, I'm so gross out with myself. So let's have a shower, do some work, and go for dinner with Rhonda and the group. I don't know. I don't feel that great. Really alone. I think I will meet people at the boat and all of that. But yeah, I guess I thought it would be a bit different. But it's okay. I will put on my big girl shoes and just go and explore Buenos Aires myself alone. Okay, so today I went and explored a little bit of Buenos Aires. So first I had breakfast in the hotel, which was buffet breakfast, which is pretty simple, easy, but I don't think I will do it again. I think tomorrow I'll just go for breakfast myself. I walked in the park a little bit in front of the hotel, which has a beautiful tower. That's also why this hotel is called Park Tower Hotel, of course. I sat there a bit in the sun. After the park, I decided to go for a walk myself and I walked all the way from the hotel to actually the harbor I think where a lot of boats are I walked around there and because I was like okay I don't know what to do so I'm gonna do what my dad would do which is just go to the boats so I went to the boats had a look then I went and had some well light lunch because I was still waiting to hear from my friend whether we were going to meet or not we kept just missing each other the whole day that's also why I said I felt a bit lonely but it's okay I had lunch by myself I had jamon I burrata, so I had like um, burrata with ham and they gave me lots of bread, complimentary drink and then I realized it was a super fancy place. But it's okay. Literally with the view of the boats and the water it was really nice. So I ate my food and then I was waiting to hear from my friend but again some weird muscle communication and stuff. So then I was like okay you know what I'm going myself to Palermo which is an area which has a lot of shops and a market. And then I met up there with a girl that is also going on the cruise which was really nice. We just walked around. I bought some new shoes. Oops. I don't even have space in my luggage. Bought magnets for my family because that's my tradition right? I buy magnets everywhere I go for my family, my grandparents, my sister, my parents, myself. Then I decided to go back with the taxi. Now I'm gonna do a bit of work and then tonight I'm gonna meet up with someone else to go for a dinner and hopefully steak because obviously Argentina is very known and famous for steak. And then the reason I'm in Buenos Aires is of course because I'm on my way to Antarctica but I have here from the 2nd until the 6th to explore. So yeah, I did a little bit today. Tomorrow I think I want to do some more cultural things like see some more history, museum, 
theater and let's see if I'm gonna do it alone or if someone is coming with me but either way I will be okay one annoying thing though is that my uber doesn't want to connect with my credit card or debit card it keeps saying that for this high amount transactions it cannot do it but it's not a high amount at all it's super cheap but it's high in Argentino pesos, I guess, but not US dollar, it's super cheap. So I have to keep using cash for Uber and then there's not many ATMs around, like really not many. So I have to go to ATM again in a little bit. Also super funny, what I was wearing today actually was jeans flare jeans belt shirt if you wear shorts you're really a tourist and that most people wear jeans or tight dresses so in the evening i wear my tight dresses and during the day i decided to wear my jeans from the hotel is so gorgeous and this is how i get to the gym i have to go from this building that i'm in now there first floor go over the air bridge gym and then there's an outside pool and an inside pool i yet have to go there Having some brekkie because I want to do some work. I had my nails fixed. Casa Rosada. This first stop is at Casa Rosada, which is the pink presidential palace. It's really pretty. But there's fences around, so you can really just look at it and that's it. Well, I'm shaking. I should eat some food. And you can see the city. I started filming right away. The military came and stood behind me. So I'm now sitting front of the bank waiting because I'm gonna meet someone from the ship to do some more sightseeing <laughs> a little bit angry so cute Going out for a dance. It's so bad here, but this is the only thing I fancy. It's like a bread basket with some pastries. Oh, today they give me less pastries though. But yeah, bread basket, Coke Zero tea, that's it. Oh my god, so we're at the tanning place and me and Rhonda, this is the third place we tried to go to and we finally found it, but you need appointments for everything. And we were even in a dodgy elevator with someone. Yeah. Um. But we finally found it, so now we're getting a spray tan before going to Antarctica. I've never had a spray tan before though. for my spray tan I hope it's not gonna be too dark let's see <laughs> I didn't do my face though because you know I think it dries it out so in white Antarctica I will be in Oompa Loompa it's okay right now it is 1 40 p.m. and at 6 30 I have to be at the different hotel and from that hotel we're going to leave then tomorrow night at 3 a.m. to Owasha with a charter flight, we go from Buenos Aires there and there we board the ship. So right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna film some content in the room and I also have to start packing. And again, this is the fiasco I did here in the group just now that it's really true. The charter flight, you can only have 40 pounds, which I think is like 19 kg. And in hand luggage, only 11 LBS, so very small. So I have to see how I'm gonna do that, what I'm gonna bring, what I'm not gonna bring what to do with my hand luggage so yeah next up i'm finally going to a 10-day business mastermind cruise through antarctica and i'm gonna vlog the entire trip and post it right here on my youtube channel so make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in antarctica